Hey guys, Earl here. This is Earl's Cooking Show. So I buy a lot of salmon. I love seafood, but one of the problems that people have with salmon is they always say, oh, it's too fishy or it's too this or it's too that. Well, one of the products I like to buy from Savory Butcher is their sockeye fillets, which are beautiful, beautiful salmon fillets that come in these individual quick frozen sleeves. And I love to have them out there for lunch, put them on salads and stuff like that. But Preparation is everything. So I want to show you a couple things that I like to do with the salmon that I get from Savory Butcher to get it ready before I go ahead and create a meal. So the first thing I like to do, and we'll kind of sit down here and I'll take this out, is there's something called pin bones in salmon. So when they take and they cut these fillets off, they cut the fillet off, but it leaves a section of bones right here. And if you run your fingers right along it, you can actually feel, feel these bones. Well, nobody likes to eat salmon and get a bone in their mouth because all of a sudden you're sticking your fingers in your mouth trying to pull it out. So I got these little pliers that I use in my own kitchen. They're just little long needle nose pliers. And I use those when it comes to pulling pin bones out of salmon. They cost me about a dollar, I think, over at a Harbor Freight store. You see them all the time at auto parts stores. But you feel along with your fingers and you find that first bone. And you put your pliers on it and boom, pull it out. So I, used to, I usually keep a little stack of um, paper towels with me because I'm going to pull the pin bones. I'm going to set them on that and then I just go from one to the next. So I'm going to open her up, pull the pin bone, feel along. And you always, you always kind of want to start right up at the front. You know, initially you may not feel it, but as you start pulling the pin bones, you'll feel them more. And they're not hard to pull out. It doesn't destroy your salmon. But I'll tell you what, when it comes time to eat it, <laughs> you're going to be glad that you did it because... Now you're not getting little bones in your mouth. So we're going to go right along here. We're going to pull these pin bones. And it takes, oh, it takes a few minutes to get her done, but it's not a big deal. One of the funny things about sockeye versus, say, silver salmon or cohos, um, king salmon and stuff like that, sockeye is not quite as oily as those salmons are. So one of the problems that people always say to me, they're like, hey, Earl, I cook the salmon, but it's, it's dry. It, it's just, it just tastes dry and I can never get it to where it's moist. Well, in some of my later videos here that we're gonna do after this, I'll actually show you probably on this salmon in another video, is I'm gonna show you how I make salmon and it's guaranteed every time to not only be delicious, but it's going to be moist. And I'm gonna show you a simple cooking technique a little bit later. Because it doesn't have all those oils holding that moisture in like other salmon does, um, sockeye is kind of it's kind of different so you can see we're feeling right along and you can actually see if you look at it you can actually see the little teeny tiny bones poking through and it doesn't run the full length on these but you have to put a little bit of pressure with your finger on it and you can feel the bone ah, a lot of bones in here right when I was a kid my mom used to say hey you get a salmon bone stuck in your throat eat a piece of bread I don't know what that was all about but we, as kids, we'd get a salmon bone stuck in our throat and they'd give us a piece of bread. They said it would capture the bone and um, go down. All I know is I grew up not really caring for fish because it was kind of a pain in the butt to eat. <laughs> digging, digging around for bones. So I'm just gonna give it another feel right here. We're kind of running out of the pin bones. And I don't feel anything there. So you see right here, this section right here, this is, this is about it for where the pin bones are. Oh. See that? I felt one. I got a little tiny sneaker right in there. But these you don't want to get in your mouth. So, oh, okay, we're giving it one more feel. I got one more in here. Yep. They're not hard to find. You guys don't have to dig in with your pliers to get them or anything like that. You just feel your salmon. Okay, so the next thing that I do, a lot of people like to eat the skin on salmon. But you see all these beautiful, shiny, glittery things? Those are scales. So you just take the flat edge of your knife and you just start dragging it down. You can see the scales flying. But it'll make a mess. But you're, there's a reasoning behind this. Because when I cook salmon, I like to salt the skin really heavily. And then I will let it sit. And I'll go back and I'll put all my seasoning. And I'm going to show you in this later video. Look at all these scales coming off, you guys. You don't want to eat that. That's not any good. But people do it. If you just take this extra time with your salmon, you're going to be guaranteed a good product. So, and these, they come off pretty doggone easy. You, aren't, you notice I'm not cutting in with my knife. I'm just dragging my knife along in the opposite direction of the scales, and that pulls them off. 
because we are going to eat this skin, which is delicious when it's cooked right. You just want to get it crisp. And the cooking technique I'm going to show you is going to allow you to make flawless salmon every single time. And part of what I'm doing here, removing the scales, is the reason for it. Now you see a lot of scales are flying, so just like all seafood, you guys, when you make when you buy seafood, when you buy it fresh in the store, this the seafood's frozen. Unless you go out and you catch it on a boat or something like that. This has went through a processing place and it's been frozen and rethawed. Great thing about seafood is you can do that, but you've gotta, you've gotta take good care of it. So we've gotten pretty much all the scales off. We've pulled the pin bones off of there. So I'm gonna take my cutting board, I'm gonna rinse the scales off, and then in the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to prep this. Look, I'm Earl, this is my cooking show. This is one of the cool little tricks when it comes to taking care of salmon to guarantee you're gonna end up with a quality meal. I'll talk to you next time here in my kitchen when I show you how I like to cook the salmon. Thanks for watching.